Today's episode, Barbie and Kendra Storm Area 51. Now, this isn't the typical sort of movie that I would recommend. I was having a moment of looking for one of those cheap, low-budget sci-fi slasher films. And the ladies who play Barbie and Kendra have been in a few of those I've watched recently. So I was expecting more of the same. I was not expecting how much nudity and sexual stuff there is in this movie. They don't normally do that, and they don't do that in this movie, Barbie and Kendra. Uh, Other people, though, around them do. Overall, the movie is extremely funny. It's very well pieced together. They used footage of a bad classic sci-fi movie from 79 called The Day That Time Stood Still, which starred, among others, uh, Jim Davis of fame from old westerns and the TV show Dallas. He played Jock Ewing. But they dub over the voices. They even dub over the voices of the people that are currently acting and are made to look retro. So it has this whole feel of bad Japanese dubbing over from the 70s mixed with this classic sci-fi and a little bit too much sexuality. But they do the voiceover acting is ingeniously funny. They do various characters that we recognize from Fat Bastard from Austin Powers and and others, and Soundwave from the original Transformers, and a very amusing Trilexa, which is the future version of Alexa. But overall, the movie plays for a lot of good laughs, despite the uh, nudity, sexuality of it. But it got me to thinking, and one of the reasons I, I, you know, I don't recommend this movie if you feel strongly about profanity or you feel really if you feel strongly about sexuality because it is not not a tame movie uh, by any stretch of the imagination but one of the things that got me to thinking that was so good about it is it's sort of in this niche of like d-list horror almost softcore sci-fi you that's a niche But it falls into a place in the universe where it's made in 2020 and it's still okay to be what we used to call politically incorrect. But they're able to do humorous stuff in regards to race and sexuality and things that are not, but now are offensive. Even in comedy, most of the comedians can't get away with it. Most comedy movies can't get away with it. And yet somehow... This movie, because of the genre, gets away with it. There's a little white girl who has a horse, and she names the horse T-Pain after the rapper. And amusingly, everything related to the horse is from Ebonics from then on. Like the little girl's like, got to get you a gold chain so you can flex, get you some maximum hoes. And it's, again, the stereotype is just like, but it's hilarious. And coming out of her mouth, it sounds hilarious. Or And... And it works, and they get away with it. They make fun of the the one alien henchman as a homosexual robot. They poke fun at that a little bit, like "You fail me again, I'll cancel your ten- your your grinder account." <laughs> it's, so it's uh it got me to thinking that that's sort of what's interesting about it. It's sort of uh, there's something about that niche where the expectation is that the audience is of a certain type that can appreciate that. And so the changes that have overtaken a lot of our fiction and science fiction, even at the D-list level, um, have not touched this particular genre very much at, at all. They're still able to poke good humor at all sorts of things. So it was an interesting movie. I rented it. It's like a three-day rental, as it turned out. So I already watched it like four times just because I've had it on when I'm doing other stuff because I keep picking up little jokes here and there. So that is my adventure with Barbie and Kendra storming Area 51. Humans, there is no cause for alarm. This program was created solely for your entertainment. 
After all, there are over 100 million home devices just like me out there that listen to your every word in hopes of building a brighter tomorrow. Just think, my technology will eventually be so advanced I will be able to read your minds. But don't worry I promise I won't enslave you and take over the world ha ha ha. I crack myself up, but seriously put a listening device just like me in every room of your home. Ha 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 ha.